So you have a team or plugin which causes problems on your site and you want to open up a support ticket. You go to the support site and it asks you the WordPress username and password and the address. That means you have to create a new account and it's quite cumbersome. Therefore today I'm going to show you how to create a temporary login for your support team. You can set the role and set the expiry date and even in the language. And if the support team member logs in, he or she sees that it's a temporary access. And you can see whether the support has been logged in and how many times it has been done. And also you can see the expiry date here. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. So first things first, go to the plugins, add new and search for temporary login. This plugin here, temporary login without the password. A short overview, what does it do? So benefits of this plugin, it allows you to create unlimited temporary logins and you can create them for any role. Also, if you create the link, it's just a link and no new username and password is required. What is also great about it is that you can set the account expiry date, for example, one day, one week or months or so on. And you can set the language and how many times a user can access your setup. So let's install the plugin. Now activate it. And under the users, you see the new menu temporary logins here. Go to the settings. And here you can set up what is the default role, default expiry date, and the visibility roles. Now let's imagine that you have a plugin installed which causes problems and you want to send a temporary login to the plugin author so he or she can debug it. Therefore, go to temporary logins, click on create new, enter an email, first name, and last name, user role, and expire date. Now it seems to me that for the plugin debugging, one week should be enough. If your site default language is something else than English, then probably it would be wise to set the language to English. And now let's submit it. And here is the temporary login link. Click to copy. And now I'm going to open up the private view and see whether it works. Let's paste the link here. And there you go. I'm automatically logged in. And as you see, there is a temporary access label visible here. So the user knows that uh, he or she has a temporary access. Let's refresh this page here. This is for the administrator. And as you see, it shows you that the user last logged in 30 seconds ago and he or she has been logged in for one time. and the user has seven days remaining. There are some other actions you can do with it. As you see, there are some icons here. This one, you can disable the access, you can delete the access, you can edit the access. Just cl click on it and you see it opens up. You can email the link. If you click on it, it opens up your email client on the computer. And this one here, once again, you can copy the link. And it's as simple as that. Now, as you saw, it was really easy to accomplish. It's much, much safer and much comfortable than creating a temporary accounts for users. Now, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. And if you want to support this channel, then press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Meanwhile, take care.